Do dogs have cleaner mouths than humans? Do cats really hate water? Is raw meat the only best food for dogs? In this video, we will discover the truth behind 24 myths about pets. Number 24. A dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's mouth. Both dog and human mouths are full of microbes. Dogs' mouths can be toxic to some types of bacteria, but it carries its own types of infectious organisms. In fact, dogs have over 600 different types of bacteria in their mouths, which is a similar number to the 615 types of bacteria Harvard scientists have found in a human's mouth. Number 23. One cat or dog year equals seven human years. While aging in both dogs and cats can vary by breed, there's no evidence that a year in pet life equals seven years of human life. In fact, this estimation is a good example of oversimplification. In dogs, the aging process is much more complicated, with their first year equaling roughly 15 human years, their second, nine human years, and each year after that equaling four human years. It's also thought that after the first six years of life, the aging timeline speeds up for our furry friends yet again. Number 22, dogs and cats only see black and white. Although your pet has narrower visual spectrum than humans do, but it doesn't mean that they can't see colors. Dogs can see shades of gray, blue, and yellow. Seeing these colors makes it easy for them to hunt at dawn and dusk. Dogs are very good at noticing motion from a long distance. Cats are sort of colorblind. They can't distinguish green and red colors. They see the world mainly in yellow, blue, and brown shades. Number 21. Dogs eat grass because they are sick. Some people believe if a dog has an upset stomach, they eat grass to help them throw up whatever is bothering their digestive tract. Studies have shown that fewer than 15% of dogs seem to be sick before eating grass. There are some other reasons why your pet might be grazing on your lawn. Dogs and cats eat green stuff to improve digestion, treat intestinal worms, relieve constipation, or fulfill some nutritional needs such as fiber. Number 20. Dogs can express guilt. Dogs can feel fear, sadness, and joy. However, studies have shown that dogs don't have the emotional maturity to feel secondary emotions, like guilt and shame. This means that after chewing your favorite pair of slippers, Fido isn't going to feel guilty or regret his decision. It's not from lack of caring about you. It's just that his brain isn't wired to reflect on his actions and respond with emotions. A dog's guilty look, which we often see in internet memes, is a reaction to a human's angry body language or tone of voice. Number 19. Cats can see in the dark. Although cats have a superior ability to see in near darkness, they cannot see in total darkness. Depending on the light, the shape of a cat's pupil can change from almost fully round to vertical slit. Studies have shown that the slit-shaped pupil is usually found in animals that ambush their prey and hunt by day and night, like crocodiles, cats, and snakes. Cat's pupils open much wider in dim light than those of humans, letting in more light during dawn and dusk. Number 18. Horses sleep standing up. Anyone with a horse can probably confirm that they've seen their beloved companion sleeping standing up. While it looks like they're in a full-blown state of sleep when this happens, the horse isn't actually sleeping. They are merely dozing, that is, taking a light cat nap. This is possible because their legs can essentially lock, holding them in an upright position. When a horse goes to sleep for the night though, they will lay down. Number 17. Dogs wag their tails to show happiness. Perhaps the most common misinterpretation of dogs is the myth that a dog wagging its tail is friendly and happy. Dogs' body language is complex, and although dogs do wag their tails when they're happy, they can also wag their tails out of fear, nervousness, or aggression. So make sure you don't mix up the signs. Number 16. A dog who yawns is sleepy. Dogs yawn for a lot of reasons. They usually do it to relieve stress, like when you take them to the vet. Or they yawn to curb their enthusiasm when you get out the leash to take them for a walk. Number 15. Dogs lick your face because you have a salty taste. Licking is an instinctive behavior that dogs use to clean each other or to communicate with you or other animals. Licking also releases endorphins and makes your pet feel comfortable. When your dog licks your face, they could be trying to keep you clean, gather information about you, or they may simply enjoy the pleasurable sensation of licking. The fact that you have a salty taste or have residue on your face plays its part, but it is not the main reason why your dog licks you. 
Number 14. Cats purr when they are happy. Cats often purr when they are happy. However, they may also purr when they are stressed, frightened, injured, or in pain. Cats can also purr when they are dying or when they are giving birth. Studies have shown the low-frequency vibrations produced by purring is linked to many health benefits, such as reducing blood pressure or stress levels. Number 13. Carrots are a great diet for rabbits. There's nothing better for your rabbit than a large bowl of crisp carrots, right? Wrong! Despite being a widely accepted fact, the idea that carrots should be your rabbit staple diet is a giant myth. Carrots, while healthy and suitable as a treat, don't give adequate nutrition for your rabbit. With a diet of only carrots, your rabbit would quickly become ill. Number 12. Raw meat is the only best food for dogs. Dogs' closest relatives, wolves, eat meat in the wild. This fact has led to many owners believing that the best food for their domesticated dog is raw meat. However, they're not considering the fact that your pet has evolved and adapted to a new diet since being domesticated and now requires much more than simply meat. Number 11. Goldfish have no memory. It's been a running rumor that goldfish have a memory span of roughly three seconds. Recent research, though, has shown that this assumption is very much untrue. Goldfish are capable of learning and remembering things for a long time. Number 10. Old dogs can't learn new tricks. It's a popular misconception that old dogs are unable to learn new things. A dog, regardless of how old, can learn new tricks and be trained just like a spry young pup could. Old dogs may need a little more time to learn new things though, so you just need to be a little more patient. Number nine, cats hate water. This myth can be fact in some cases. The cats that do hate water tend to dislike it because it weighs their fur down and makes them feel cold. A cat's coat is fluffier than a dog's coat, so their fur feels heavier and they get colder if they get wet. Cats can be taught to tolerate and even enjoy swimming and baths. Number eight, a warm and dry dog nose signals illness. The general way of thinking is that when a dog's nose is hot and dry, the dog in question has fever. There's nothing wrong with using this rule of thumb, but relying on the nose test alone is not enough for an accurate assessment of the presence of fever. Some other symptoms that might indicate fever in dogs are loss of appetite, lack of energy, shivering or coughing. The only way to accurately gauge your pet's temperature in relation to illness is by using a thermometer. Number seven, pet rats are dirty. Pet rats have long been stigmatized as dirty. This, we think, is probably because rats are often portrayed as being dirty, smelly vermin that inhabit sewers and garbage dumps. In all actuality, rats are a very clean pet. They hate getting dirty and spend tons of time grooming themselves and each other. They can be litter box trained too. Number six, dogs and cats hate each other. Cats and dogs are by no means natural enemies, but there are a few behavioral differences that can set them at odds. Cats are independent and passive. Dogs are social and active. Despite these differences, early socialization or proper introduction helps them get along. Number five, only male dogs hump. Both male and female dogs hump if they are in the mood, but males hump more than females. Number four, shaving a pet's fur keeps them cool in the summer. Some dog or cat owners shave their pets to keep them cool in the summer. A cat or dog's coat is designed by nature to keep them warm during the winter and cool during the summer. In warmer months of the year, these animals thin out their thicker winter coat for a thinner summer fashion. By shaving your pet, you interfere with their built-in temperature regulation and put them at risk of a sunburn. Number three, cats are nocturnal. Cats seem to be more active at night, which is a very true fact. What isn't true though, is that cats are nocturnal. Their increased activity at night is mostly due to their instinct to be crepuscular. This fancy term is basically just a way of saying that cats in the wild are more active at dawn and dusk when there are better hunting opportunities. Many domestic cats hold onto this tendency despite not needing to go hunting every night. Number two, dog saliva can heal wounds. This is a major myth. Dog saliva doesn't heal wounds, it makes them worse. Some people even let dogs lick their cuts intentionally, but they should never let them do this. Dogs' mouths are not clean. They lick their genitals, they eat things off the ground, and tons of germs can get into the wounds along with their saliva. 
this can cause serious infections. Number one, some dog breeds are hypoallergenic. All dogs shed and produce allergens. Dogs that shed less produce smaller amounts of allergens that can cause allergies. So, all dog breeds could be allergenic.